It's not enough to read content. We must read it within context. So let's say you read a specific sentence in the Bible, right? And you're like, oh, this is what the Word of God says. That's not necessarily what it means. So when you read a certain sentence, you have to read the verse before it and the verse after it. Then you have to read it within that paragraph. After you read it within that paragraph, you have to read it within that chapter. After you read it within that chapter, you read it within that book. And then throughout the rest of the books of the Bible, and that's called hermeneutics. That means the scripture harmonizes, but there's a way to do that so when you read, you're not misinformed. And that will help us to receive proper instruction from the Word of God and help us to accurately inform people within the context. See, this is where entire religions, cults, and different doctrines form. So that's why context matters because it helps us to safeguard from those kinds of things. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 Rightly dividing the word means that you're rightly interpreting, especially now that we have social media. So everybody's like, let me tell you what the Word of God says. Let me tell you what the Word of God says. Let me tell you what the Word of God says. But have they studied? Have they shown themselves approved by the fruit, by the work, by the way that they explain and express things? See, it's, it's not enough to say, I read the Bible. Let me just go now and teach about it. Did the Lord ask you to teach about it? He told you to tell people about it. Teach them the gospel, which is the good news about Jesus. But we have to be very careful how we teach the Word. And this is not to discourage anyone from teaching the Word. It's actually to encourage you to make sure that you're studying it right. We need more people preaching the Word of God. But the right way. Because the wrong way can damage people for the rest of their life. When you read the Bible, always ask this question, Who is this written to? And then follow up with a question, How does this apply to me? Right? Because there's certain things that are not written to you at all. It's just God describing what was going on at the time for you to learn from that example. 